when a reader opens up a horror novel, reads a horror story, uh, they're seeing someone experience the worst. Um, and you're creating a feeling of sympathy. I think for horror to work, you have to love the characters first. Um, y y the, when we see uh, torture porn, when we see a film like Saw or Hostel, it doesn't quite work. And the reason why is the characters are too one-dimensional. They're just bowling pins for the serial killer to knock down. And you never really feel anything for them. Um, and uh, you actually, if anything, the only character who's multi-dimensional is usually the serial killer. And you wind up rooting for Freddy Krueger or Jason Voorhees to kill someone else. And as a creator, I actually find that skeevy, a little bit skeevy. I don't want to root for the bad guy, I want to root for the good guy. Um, and so you look to create characters that have full lives, that love, that care about each other, that have histories and pasts and an inner life. Um, and then you threaten them with uh, the monster under the stairs. Um, and, and, and then the reader has an investment or the audience has an investment and cares about what happens to them and the losses feel real. And as a storyteller, that's, that's what I, I want you to feel, that these are real people and that you're emotionally committed to them. Until you care for the characters, uh, the story isn't working. Lee. Huh? Everyone in this town is going fucking crazy. Oh. Town's always been crazy. No, but I think it's because of me and these goddamn horns. Yeah. Wait, what? The horns? These horns? Some writers are planners. They work from an outline, and uh, I understand that and respect that. I've never been able to work that way. I always work from character. I try to figure out who I'm writing about. And then uh, once I've got that down, the rest is easy. I just follow them from scene to scene and see what happens. Um, and that's all I did here is I, you know, I, I worked out, I had an idea of who Ig Parish was and um, I wound him up like a little wind up toy and set him loose and then just followed him.